Hi, thanks for joining me in another video today. It's been a while since we've done an FSD versus Waymo video, but since version 11 dropped, I figured it was time to go head to head again. This time we've got improvements on both sides. For the Tesla, we're running FSD beta 11.3.4. On the Waymo, we'll be using their fifth generation driver. Today we're going on an adventure in the Metro Phoenix area. For this trip, we're starting at Wilson Community Center and going to Montecito Community School. The routes will be selected by the vehicles themselves, so they may not be exactly the same. And the case of the Tesla will go with the route it selects by default. So this isn't only going to be a time trial, but a test of the AI's route planning. It's not scientific, but there is value in seeing how each system performs. Tesla uses cameras only to drive, and Waymo uses LiDAR, cameras, and radar. Tesla requires a person in the front, so our driver will have his hands on the wheel as required, but will only intervene if necessary. I'll be in the Waymo sitting in the back seat. Lastly, as a reminder, Waymo can only travel in the geofenced area in downtown Phoenix, where it's been heavily trained and functions as a taxi. Tesla has more generic training. They don't train for specific areas, so you can drive it just about anywhere. Okay, let's hail our Waymo and get started. All right, there's our Waymo. All right, so we're in our Jaguar I-Pace. Let's unlock. Tesla's up there. To begin your ride, press the Start Ride button in your app. Hold on a second. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. While I get inside, I'll mute the audio so you don't have to hear all my shuffling. Putting my seatbelt on and adjusting the camera. Oh, the driver's seat is kind of blocking the view there, so. All right. Start ride. Heading to Montecito Community School. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. All right, Waymo is starting its trip by making a left and Tesla is going on forward. Throughout the video, I'll speed up some portions where there is just straight line driving and nothing interesting is going on. Though both cars are on different routes, they're both approaching their first left turn. All clear and off we go. Tesla is going to be making a left at the light to get on the freeway. Waymo doesn't get on freeway, so we will be doing city driving all the way there. All right, we're making a right at the stop sign. Waiting for intersection to clear. Proceeding on East Van Buren Street. Tesla now has a green turn arrow, but it prompts to press the accelerator. After tapping on the accelerator, the car did the turn by itself. FSD is now getting on its first freeway of this trip. Last time we did this challenge, Tesla was still using autopilot on freeways. So it would switch drivers from FSD over to autopilot. This isn't the case anymore, as Tesla has unified the stack, so it's only using the FSD driver now. Tesla is approaching the ramp meters and it slowed down until it saw it quickly turn green and proceeded. I'm not sure how common these lights are in other states, but FSD handled the situation very naturally. On the freeway, Tesla has its left turn signal, trying to find a clear spot to get into the left lane. Meanwhile, Wayne was at a traffic light waiting to go straight. Will Tesla be able to find a clearing? Once it finds a good spot, it highlights the two cars it'll go between. 
There we go. It found an opportunity and it merges into the left. So we've got Tesla on the freeway and Waymo still at the red light. The Jeep needs to make a quick entry in front of Tesla, so it slows down. Finally, the green light for Waymo. Tesla is now getting on its second and final freeway. Waymo is making a right turn on a quieter road. Seems like it avoids main roads when possible. The steering wheel is kind of shaking a bit. I wonder if it's because there are no lane lines. The Tesla doesn't have speed limit offset configured, so it sticks to the speed limit. Normally the driver would speed it up, but he wanted to keep interactions with the car to a minimum. Now it's making a right back onto a main street. Back on the freeway, FSD is making an exit. So Tesla is indicating that it wants to bear right at this intersection based on the map. But if it does that, it'll collide with the cars to the right of it. You can see the steering wheel going right and left of it. The Mazda in front has its right turn signal on, so it must be confused too. Green arrow for Tesla and the car in front was a little delayed to react. It followed through the left turn lane as it was supposed to. Meanwhile, that Mazda still has their blinker on. Will they make their right turn? We may never know. Waymo and Tesla both sitting at traffic lights. We are almost to our destination. Oh, that Mazda finally merged to the right. <laughs> this has been a clear and obstacle-free trip. I was kind of hoping a challenge would arise for either of these vehicles. The Waymo is making a left turn with a green arrow. <laughs> Tesla 
Tesla is now approaching its last right turn to get to the destination. The driver waited for the car to come to a full stop and is taking over to park and wait for the Waymo to arrive. smooth drive. Now Waymo is making its last right turn and approaching the final checkpoint. Proceeding on East Montecito Avenue. And I see the Tesla right there on the left side. Looks like we're gonna stop a little bit further down. Get your belongings. No abrupt stopping like last time. Cool, thank you, Emma. Some buckle. Please buckle your seatbelt. We care about your safety. If you're having trouble, rider support will call soon. Oh. Oh. Wait, I thought we stopped already. Why is it yelling at me? I thought we reached our destination already. <laughs> oh, we're just making a new turn over here, okay. Stop at a different spot. Finding a spot to pull over. Well, having a hard time finding a spot to pull over. Where are you taking me, Waymo? Okay. Is this our spot? <laughs> okay. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. That concludes our trip. The ride in the Waymo cost me $14.40. This was the most boring trip I've ever taken, and that is a great thing. Both Tesla and Waymo did a really good job. The Waymo got us there on the streets, and Tesla took on the freeways. Tesla arrived first, but the Waymo wasn't far behind. The link to the normal speed version of both cars will be in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you think of the future of autonomous vehicles. Maybe we'll do another one of these trips when FSD 12 drops. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at Kai's EV and Kai's Tesla. Kai's my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kaizev.com. That's all for now and happy charging.